Uh, you were very heavily involved in Big Breakfast and Richard and Judy, and you didn't always embrace your sort of thinning hair, did you? No, I had the... Uh... <laughs> I was going thin at the time when we did the match, remember? With yeah, you. of course. And I remember a makeup artist saying you can get this thing called a mane and you spray it on and it covers the ball bits. So it's like spray on it's hair like or a, No, no, it's a colouring. So it's and a bit like a car paint, in a way, that you just <laughs> it spray was, on but I didn't colour. go for the gloss. <laughs> okay. I just went for the matte. <laughs> the metallic. I went for the matte. <laughs> yeah, OK. So I, I thought, right, so my friend Gaz, who's a producer, used to spray it on before we'd film, you know. And I thought, oh, this is great. I look back and think, this is great. And then one day, somebody just went, all right, squeaky. And I went, all right. And he just moved his hand and there was all the black on the hand. And I thought, <laughs> oh, no. And so my sister, who's a hairdresser, who only ever cut my hair, she was just like, the time has come. Really? And it just had to Had go. she been trying to persuade you to embrace it for a while? No, she used, she... To cut it, she used to cut it so short at the side so it looked thick and on the top. So it was great, you know, and she knew how I'd like my... So nobody ever, ever cut my hair apart from her. And then it was just the phone call saying, I, th I think it's... When, when, it, when it went had a black hand, I thought, well, it's got to go. You're very funny about it and you've clearly embraced it now, but it, was it at all of a yeah. worry to you? Yeah. It was a little bit, yeah, because I just lost what sort of... You know, like now, I, I think, right, OK, I've said to my kids, like, I'm a girlfriend, I'm going to get my head. And they've both said no. My kids have gone no, my girlfriend said no. So, and some of the sexiest people, like the film stars, you look at Jason Statham, mm. sexy. You know, look at The Rock, say, Danny DeVito. All right, maybe not. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they're all good-looking action. I think it's at that stage, when it, the, the picture we saw before, he could have had a transplant at that stage and nipped it in the bud. Well, that's what I decided to do. I mean, I, I, I know what you're talking about, the fight. I was just starting the fight, so I was in round one, and I thought, you know what, I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get knocked out in the seventh. I want to I want to nip it in the bud, and... Uh, you I, threw I the towel, so. didn't you? I did. <laughs> I did. I didn't sort of threw the towel in. And what but, was the reaction from your friends and family? Did you... Were you open about it? Actually, I mean, well, obviously, you're being open about it now, but, but there is a little bit of stigma with... with with men about embracing the reality. I, I think um, you Wayne Rooney's of the world, the people like that have really destigmatized it mm. because, mm. you know, years ago, I, I probably, when I was playing football, I probably wouldn't have done it in the dressing room because I would have thought, you know, I think Wayne's really brave. You know, he's, he's a bit like that, isn't he? He's just yes. decided to go, out to, 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 to go out and do it. And I think he looks fabulous with it. And I think people like him have sort of broke, broken down the boundaries that mm. people like me can now get it done. And, and I th if you're unhappy, just get it done. I mean, that's it, isn't it? We now have the technology, as a yeah. Zambionic man, for, you, for men to have the option that women have had for years. Women have been covering grey and doing all yeah. sorts of things, haven't what? they? To, yeah, well, Sheps hasn't, it's still quite... <laughs> <laughs> See, Sheps on a great fight there, isn't he? <laughs> exactly. He likes it, he thinks it makes him a distinguished thing. It doesn't. So, you know, there's, uh, there's all of that that you now have the chance to do. But uh, I think it's for some of us, it's hard to understand why it worries you. Is it because it feels like a sign of ageing? Is it because you don't feel like yourself anymore? Well, what, you know what? The there's not, people say it, but there's nobody out there who says, you know what, I think I, I really love ageing. There's nobody, mm. you know, that's, that's, that's something people say because it makes them feel better. Nobody wants to look older, really. Yeah. You know, there's people who don't really care. But, you know, people nonplussed about it, but I don't, I don't believe there's anybody out there that says, I can't wait till I'm 60. So have you, yeah. have you, I mean, is it just the hair that you have done? Have you done anything else as well? Actually, I'm a bit embraced... we, we, have, we have a non-surgical clinic, so I'm a bit, oh, okay. uh, yeah. So uh, you've done uh, it's a bit easy for me to just, yeah, I did do like that. that, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what's the reaction in terms of that from, because you, you, you were a professional footballer for a long time. Do you know what? I don't think people bother anymore. Yeah. I think those days are gone. That was, that was uh, you know... We're in the 21st century. I think mm. people are used to taking care of themselves. It's a different world now. And have you found mm. mates saying, you're looking great, actually, how have you done it? And can you recommend what, what is it you've Do done? Do you know, what, honestly, loads of people have the hair done. So many people come up to me and say, where did you get that done? Right. You know, and I, I, I went to a fabulous guy in Manchester, Dr Fajo. You could have gone there just down the road from me. I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> but have you done anything, Mike? Have you done the old I've, I've, and I've, fillers? I've, and... Well, now you've mentioned it. I didn't want to bring it out, but <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I've done nothing. I, I'm on the first stage of, uh, like Ashley said, I'm on the first. No, I haven't had anything. I'm just quite happy to go old, Grace. And I can get Ashley saying, yeah, you know. So, it's about uh, choice. Eh? It is about choice. I don't live in that lifestyle where, you know, um, maybe you come from Cheshire, you live in there. Maybe that's that lifestyle. It's not for me. I, I, I know for mm. a fact that if I did decide to go the Ashley route, <laughs> my girlfriend would be like, what the hell have you done? And my kids would just be... The, my boys would just be like... And my mates... I remember one time a company offered it me when I was doing the breakfast. Yeah. You could put a thing on and they take the hair from the back and it's like a condom that they put on hair. <laughs> and they oh, stick yeah. it on. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I said to my mates, I said, I'm getting this done. The company were going to give it me. And my mates just went... If you get that done, we're going to pull it off. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah. Well, that's ludicrous, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I was like... that, was a good, that was a few years ago. But interestingly, uh, a few actors, James Nesbitt particularly, John Thompson, mm -hmm. who was in, yeah. have all talked about the fact that they've been offered more roles and they've been more auditions and they feel more confident with their hair. Really? Do you think it's affected your work? It has. I mean, you name me five bold presenters on TV now. Mm. 
That's something that Johnny Vaughan always says. Yeah, and uh, Von, apart yeah. from Harry Hill, who's made it his thing, you name five. He thinks it's yeah. a real stigma. No, it's and, and I've seen Vaughan absolutely right. To be fair, mm. because you name me five bold TV presenters, and and you're right that it did. Sort of like, as soon as I finished Rich and Judy, it was seven years ago, the work just, you know, I had to, I went and did a rate, I went and did XFM in Manchester for free, and after that... You have got a face for radio, though. N n well, you're not wrong, yeah, you know, <laughs> and the voice for it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I like it, I don't even know why I came on this show. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all but you didn't like it. No, that was in the green room, don't <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's um, before you remember. He's really <laughs> nice <laughs> off camera. But no, it, it has, yeah, you know, and, and now I go for parts of auditions where I'm like either a drug dealer or a gangster or something like that, you know, never, never the, never the... The romantic. <laughs> Thank you, Shet. Yeah, never. Uh, but interesting, so you've got two boys. Yes. And you're, you're the big into football, lovely sort of rough yeah, yeah. boys. If the boys get to an age when they turn around and say, and they're a bit older, it's a long way away, and they say, Dad, I'm thinking about having this, what would you say to them? They won't, I can tell you why, the reason it won't happen, because the ball pattern's on the mother's side. Oh. The, the mother's father, so yeah. their mother's father has a head of hair. So they will right. you know. Theoretically, what would you say? Listen, oh. it's like what I should say, if whatever I think makes whatever them makes them happy. happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I totally Hang agree. on, you've just, you, I, I can see my little boy Billy having a little bit of a worry there, so it's the mother's father. father. Side, yeah. Oh the no, my dad is bald as a coot. Oh, he is. So not long yeah. now. <laughs> not long Where now. Where is Derek's dad? <laughs> 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 She's holding on well. Huh? Think... Well, have you been to Ashley's clinic? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Tell it's you really what, good. give me Tell a number. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking uh, your number. You're not the only one who's uh. not convinced by this being. Uh. being <laughs> right. I, I mean, I saw that MP. I did see that MP in the house. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, the only person that gets he's 68. Nobody has that amount of hair at 68, apart from the poodles. You know, yeah. the amount yeah. hair on him was but, unbelievable. But if he chooses to do that with his hair, should if we that's just... that's what he wants you know, to do, I mean, personally, I think that does look ridiculous, but... Yeah. You know. Just get a wig that fits. He's got the wrong yeah. size. He's yeah, got yeah. large. He should have gone for medium <laughs> or small. Uh, it doesn't, he he but, didn't get the right size. Kate said they have all the tricks of the trade, but it doesn't always necessarily work, does it? Because I can remember when you got your hair extensions. I did. And... I loved it. I thought I was like <laughs> Rapunzel. Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you look so different. And the thing I think is funny, that didn't right. you come into work one day with short hair and, and then the have it done the next yeah. day you've got literally really long hair. I know. <laughs> Have you seen when they said you look ridiculous? That, that ridiculous is an underbelly of something else. They've gone like that. They've gone, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, They've gone, oh, you look lovely. Yeah. But in the yeah. back, in that green, they've I've gone, got to seen, say, right? the editor at the time did sit me down in the chair and make me cut at least eight inches <gasps> off it straight oh. away. Chopped it straight off. It you just clean. had to put in as well. I know. Uh, we, I mean, um, to be honest, the majority, I have to say, the majority of our viewers have been uh, sort of saying embrace it, really, aren't they? Embrace the baldness. Yep. A man of 55, once it's gone, it's gone. That's from Jim. Uh, Wenda says bald men and women uh, look great, but it's personal preference. If false hair gives you confidence and makes you feel good, then why not? There's one here. I mean, maybe this is a lesson to talk to your other half before you do something drastic. Oh, Karen no. via text. My husband shaved his hair off without telling me after putting up with bald patches, <laughs> came to bed at 2 a.m. Ice cream the place down. <laughs> 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 Burglar, but she said, wouldn't have made me different now. That is very funny. <laughs> that could have ended really badly. <laughs> it could have done. Connor oh. says, I had a hair transplant nearly two years ago. It was the best thing I ever did. Mm. Yeah, it's like Ashley said, it suits you and your. But do you know what, though? I, I think there's a lot of. Um, a lot, I think, like you say, the comments there, most people do go, grow old gracefully. It's, a, it's an easy thing to say, but I think that's for the young people who, who, who it's really stressing out. If you're in your yeah. 20s, you're losing your hair. It's really, really driving you mad. Losing confidence. I there think the up. general feeling is it's kind of the opposite of young girls who um, they feel a peer pressure to mm. have the lips done and look beautiful. I think it's the opposite for men. It's like, no, I've got to be manly. I've got to, I've got I've to just embrace I've got to pretend I don't care. I can't, oh, I've got to pretend I don't care. You are. I'm manly. In but so I'm many growing ways. all gracefully, I think. <laughs>